Hey everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install Windows 95 in VirtualBox. Let's go into the video. So the first thing you want to do is download a Windows 95 ISO and you'll need to download the fixed 95 CPU patch so you'll be able to install Windows 95 on your modern CPU through VirtualBox since you can't really natively install it in VirtualBox. So first thing you want to do is open up VirtualBox. You'll need to install it if you don't have it installed already. We're going to click new and your screen may look like this. It'll be in the guided mode, but we're gonna click expert mode. So we're gonna name this Windows 95, and of course you can name it to whatever you'd like. And for the memory size, of course, I have 64 gigs of RAM, which is quite a lot on my main computer. Now, the recommended size uh, is 128 megs. You won't need any more than 512 megs since that's already a lot. And we're going to have the hard disk set to create a virtual hard disk now. Make sure that's selected. And we're going to make sure that the type is set to Microsoft Windows. The version is Windows 95. And after that, we're going to click create. And then we can set the file size for basically the storage amount. We're going to set it to 4 or 8 gigs, whichever one works for you. I'm going to do 8 for this example. Make sure the hardest file type is set to VDI, which is virtual box disk image, and the storage on the physical hard disk. Make sure it's set to dynamically allocated. Then we're going to click create. And you can see we have this menu and all that here. Now we're going to click start. And on my other monitor, I have the virtual machine there, but for you, you'll need to select a startup disk. So we're going to go select our ISO that we've downloaded or that you already have on your computer. I'll do that real quick. After you have it selected, click start. And you can put your VM in full screen and you can see here it says starting Windows 95. Once you're in the Windows 95 setup, we're going to hit enter and we're going to select configure unallocated disk space recommended. Hit enter and you can enable large disk support or do not. For this, since we've done 8 gigs, which is considered a lot at the time, we're going to enable large disk support, but you can leave this option out. So we're going to hit enter. We're going to make sure that the ISO is inserted in the VM. We're going to hit enter. It's just going to restart. And then it'll say formatting drive C, and it shows the percentage, and it's going up rather fast. It's at 40%. Now it's basically 50%, and we'll just have to wait a little longer. And there we go. It's formatted 100% of the C drive. Now we're just going to hit enter again, and it'll run the Microsoft scan disk. And now we have a UI now. So we're going to click continue. We're going to accept the license agreement. So we're going to click yes. We're going to click next. We're going to set the directory to C colon backslash windows, which is what the default location is. Make sure that's selected, click next, and of course you can have it set to typical, portable, compact, or custom. For this tutorial, I'm going to have it selected as typical, and that's what you should have selected as well. Again, your choice. You can select it to whatever you'd like. We're going to click next, and now we have to put in the product key. After you have your product key typed in, we're going to click next, and under user information, you can put whatever name you'd like, and for whatever reason, you can put in the company name which you can also put as whatever you'd like. So I'm going to put in my name, I'm going to hit enter or just basically click next. And you can just put, you can have these checked if you'd like, network adapter and sound or video capture card. We're going to leave these unchecked for now. We're going to click next. You'll need to wait a little bit, shouldn't take too long. As you can see, it's going by rather quick. All right, now let's finish that. So now that that's finished, we're going to have selected install the most common components recommended. Make sure that's selected and we'll click next. And no, we're not going to have a startup disk, but you can also select that if you'd like. But for this tutorial, we're going to have it selected to no, I don't want a startup disk. So we're going to click next, click next again, and we'll be taken to the screen here. As you can see in the bottom, it says copying files and it's going by quick. Now we're going to click finish. And it can say setup is detected a disk in my floppy disk drive, but really it's referring to the optical drive. Now we're going to go back and we're going to click OK. And you'll see that it's going to reboot. You'll say starting Windows 95 and you'll see you'll get the error that says while initializing device iOS, Windows protection error, you need to restart your computer. So to fix this, you'll need to download the Windows 95 CPU patch and we're going to go 
insert the ISO. So I'll do that real quick. After that's inserted, you're going to click the control button and R to reboot the virtual machine. And now you'll be taken to the screen. So we're just going to press N on our keyboard and it'll say ready to install Windows 95 high speed processor support. Press any key to continue and you can just press enter or any key as it says. And there we go. Now we can click the right control button and the letter R on our keyboard to reboot the virtual machine. It'll say starting Windows 95. We're going to select the first option, which says one and normal. Hit enter. And there we go. Now it'll say you must provide your computer and work group names that will identify this computer on the network. We're going to click OK. And we'll just put in a computer name, blah, blah, blah. We can just have this set to uh, whatever we'd like. Doesn't really matter. And now we'll have to insert the ISO, our Windows 95 ISO. We're going to click OK. And then it'll say, depending on your ISO, you may get something saying the file netapi.dll can't be found or whatever. And we're just going to skip all of that. And then you'll see a small window saying Windows is now setting up the following items, control panel, programs on the start menu, Windows help, MS-DOS program settings, time zone, and setup printer. So as you can see here, it's currently setting up programs on the start menu and well it flew by windows help and ms dos program settings like so fast so you're gonna you can set your time zone by clicking in the drop down menu here and in my case i'll select eastern time us and canada then i'll click apply and if you'd like it'd be recommended to have this selected this highlighted we're gonna click ok then we're gonna click next and we don't need this i don't have a printer to set up so we're gonna click cancel and it'll say Windows 95 setup has finished configuring your system. You must restart your computer before the new settings will take effect. Click OK to restart your computer now. So we're going to click OK. And it'll say starting Windows 95. We'll go through all this again. And you'll probably most likely be taken to the setup. And if you are taken to your setup, then you'll want to eject the ISO. Now we're going to go back and click the right control button on our keyboard and the letter R to reboot the virtual machine. And now we'll be booting off of our quote unquote hard drive. Oh, and there we go. As you can see, we've successfully installed Windows 95 in VirtualBox. So, thanks for watching. Hope this video helped you out. If it did, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and comment down below what you thought in this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.